Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium tonight to bring you a long-awaited, wonderful, amazing unboxing video from the beautiful Kelly Stevenson out of Colorado. Today is the magical day when that box finally arrived. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's just get right to it. These guys have only been in this box since over night they were just packed yesterday we were corresponding throughout the entire shipping process and so i'm confident that these animals are packed well and have arrived safely and this box is well padded so i can see here are the three containers the animals have a lot of protection i can see that these towels were nice and damp She's got good thick plugs. They've still got some moisture. That one looks good. Again, that one's good. I'll take a closer look at them as I unpack them. You can see that this is the calciatum and they're not as heavy bodied. Nice plug, good looking animal. Give me a few minutes to get these guys set up and fed. Oh, my bad, I mean watered. I was just going to explain that when you get an animal in, you do not want to feed it for at least 24 hours because they tend to be stressed out. So you want to give them that 24 hour window of time to just kind of settle down and relax and feed them a day or two after arrival. I'll get them set up and watered. I'll examine them and I'll be back in a jiff. Here is the handsome mature male Stromata Pelma Calciatum. Um, I can't recall the common name. I'm thinking the common name is like uh, something feather leg maybe. I don't remember common names very well. And obviously they vary from language to language. And yeah, I just don't memorize them. So anyway, uh, we do have two or three girls to pair this guy with. That will be going down very soon. He needs a little rest before we start breeding him, but it won't be long. Let's take a look at the girls. Both of these girls are absolutely stunning. This one's name is Rose. I would imagine it's because she is named after her species and her coloration. And this one here is named Bea, and she is a bad mamma jamma. Word on the street is she is one nasty girl, but she's been quite a sweetheart so far. Hopefully she won't turn cannibalistic when it's breeding time, although I imagine it's going to be very, very exciting. Introducing the beautiful Rose and the Wackadoo Bea, and you guys should be seeing these girls appearing in videos coming up very, very soon. Thank you so much to Kelly. I was very excited to give you a shout out. Keep an eye out for these breeding videos that will be coming very, very soon. Next on my list is a Metallica breeding from the animals from Russ Gurley and Amy Hudson. So, woo, woo, that ought to be very exciting. I'll see you guys soon. Let me know what animals you would like to see me breed next and I'll see you next time.